a friendship gets out of hand. I love him. You can't stop me. Can it be resolved without hurt feelings? I think we should have a talk. A country practice tonight. Impala kitchens just get better and better. Beautiful kitchens crafted from the finest materials available. Order your new Impala kitchen now and save a huge 25%. See for yourself at Bayswater, Essendon, Frankston or Springvale or in the Impala hotline on 729 566. Now you can have the kitchen you want, custom built just the way you want it and save a sensational 25% with our famous seven year guarantee. Impala kitchens, don't miss out. set sail across the seas and plundered the world of gold. In 1992, the world is going to Spain to take it back. Barcelona. See it on 7. Presenting the Olympics, AMP will always be there. Sweetie? Duffy? Yo. <laughs> Good news. What? Duffy's moving away? No, I got my report card. Hi, oh. honey. Oh, hi, honey. How was your day? <laughs> well, it was all right. I'm Dad, open today. it. Okay, okay. Guess I can forget about going to the bathroom. <laughs> <clears throat> well. Straight A's. <laughs> Kelly. That's wonderful. Oh, honey, I am so proud of you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How about our little Kelly? Beauty and brains. <laughs> and how did you do, Duffy? Oh, great. My dad's out of town. <laughs> uh, you guys remember what you promised if I got straight A's. Well, we sure do, honey. <laughs> Dad, it wasn't money. Kelly, we love the report card, but let's not start up again about a horse. Not a horse. You promised me my own phone. We promised you a phone? That's your signature, Dad. <laughs> you even got it notarized and everything. You'd think a lawyer would know better than to get a thing like that in writing. <clears throat> well, honey, it looks like you've got yourself your own phone. All right, this is so cool. Now we can talk to each other night and day. Let's celebrate. I'll pop for some milkshakes, okay? okay. Uh, Mr. Cleaver, I'm a little short. Could you uh, lend me a saw buck? <laughs> All I've got is a 10. Oh, what a guy. Thanks a lot. <laughs> hey, I want change. Good luck. Ah, good afternoon, Mrs. Cleaver. Searching for another blue ribbon recipe that'll have Julia Child turning over in her gravy? <laughs> well, actually, Eddie, I'm studying for my college sociology exam. I wish you could chat with my grandfather. The poor geezer just sits on his porch day in and day out, whittling, singing spirituals. I don't think so. Dad. Name me one major keyboard player who doesn't have a sequencer. The kid in Peanuts that Lucy likes. Come on, Dad. I'll never find another one at this price again. Uh, young Kip, why waste your youth trying to untangle the knots in the parental purse strings? If it's money you want, you need look no farther than your beloved Uncle Eddie. You mean you'd loan me the money to buy a sequencer? Loan? I wouldn't insult you by loaning you the money. But I would give you the satisfaction of earning it yourself. How would you know anything about that? <laughs> You're quite a kidder. I'm proud to announce that Haskell Construction has branched into the building of natatoriums. Uh, that's swimming pools to you, layman. When did you start that? 
as soon as I figured out how much these clods would pay you to dig a hole and slop in some cement. And fortunately for Kip, I'm looking for a few good men to shovel a limestone. You mean you're digging a swimming pool by hand? Yeah, it's great. It takes three times as long, and I can charge six times as much. You know, I might be interested in that, Mr. Haskell. You know, I hear construction pays pretty well. Uh, but wait a minute, kid. I'm in construction. You're in, uh... Did you ever see Roots? <laughs> Thanks, but, uh, as attractive as that sounds, I think I'll pass. Mm. Yeah, what about you, Squirt? As they say, you can't be too rich or too thin. Eddie, I get enough shoveling just being in the same room with you. <laughs> you know, with your sparkling wit and your bulging bank account, I'm amazed that you still live with your mother. Good day, Mrs. Cleaver. Mom, just say the word. You're always welcome here. And what would I do with two more sewing rooms anyway? Thank you. Hey, champ. Oh, good. You're home. What's with you? Report card day. Uh, Oliver, this is a special day, isn't it? Sure. I mean, every day is special when I'm with you. I was talking about your report card. Oh. Um, report card. Where did I put that? Uh, there it is. Good eye, Dad. Oliver, go up to your room and wait for me. Yes, sir. Beaver? Just how bad is it? A B, two C's, two D's. This is totally unacceptable. Well, he did pull that C to a B in gym. Yeah. <laughs> Your brother's not applying himself. When was the last time you saw him pick up a book? He reads. Yeah, dinosaur books. A lot of good that's gonna do him. Dad, the guy's only in seventh grade. He's still trying to figure out what side to part his hair on. <laughs> well, I'll admit there's room for improvement, but it isn't the end of the world. Mom, how can you say that? Because I'm getting a report card in two weeks, and I don't want to seem like this. <laughs> Oliver, a report card like this shows me one thing. You're not giving me your best. Now, what's the problem? School's boring. You gotta learn all this stuff about fractions and dead poets. Now, what's that got to do with anything? Oliver, you've got to buckle down now so you can do well in high school. Go to a good college and make something out of yourself. You don't want to end up like Eddie Haskell. Heck no, Dad, but... Well, at least he gets to do what he wants all day, even if it is watch cartoons and drink beer. Okay. <laughs> If you didn't have to go to school tomorrow, what would you do? Well, N now just think about it. Well, I, I don't know. I'd probably just stand in front of the school where everyone could see me and make faces at the dopes inside. <laughs> Oliver, I've been far too lenient with you, and it is going to stop. From now on, when you come home from school, you're going to sit down at your desk and study. No more TV. No more hanging out at the soda shop. No more comic books. No more Danny and the Dead Boys. No more Look, video man. games. No more. This could go on for hours. <laughs> Mom, can I show Daffy my phone? I suppose so. Thanks, Mrs. C. But don't you dare call any of those nine seven six numbers. <laughs> well, what do you think? Wow, your own phone. My dad won't even give me a key to the house. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Ollie. Guess what I'm calling you on? Hey, Ollie. I hear the old man really twisted the old spike this time. Yeah. If I'm good, he lets me breathe on weekends. Know why? Yeah, they're even calling the high school to assign me a tutor. You're kidding. Who'd they stick you with? Now, if you take three cubic feet of dirt and multiply it by four cubic feet of dirt, 
How many cubic feet of dirt would be remaining in a 40 cubic foot hole? Freddy, I don't see how this is gonna help my grade. Hey, this is the new math. Socrates' students didn't complain, and you know what he made them do. <laughs> Freddy! You got little Oliver doing your work for you. And yeah, there's hope for you yet. <laughs> That's it, Freddy. Lesson's over. What are you looking at? It's a bone. It's probably the last kid I tutored. <laughs> Hey, Squirt, where do you think you're going? To the Bellport Museum. It's a dinosaur bone. Ever played basketball without any air in the ball? He doesn't bounce. Right. And that's how you could feel in the morning if you don't have your breakfast. You can lose your bounce and start feeling flat and droopy. <laughs> Each morning, fill up on a complete breakfast of cereal, milk, toast, fruit and juice. Because if you start the day with a nutritious breakfast, you're giving it your best shot. This breakfast message was brought to you by Kellogg's in the interest of good health and nutrition. I want some action and I want some fun. Wanna get out and be number one. I'll swing through the trees like Indiana too. With scouts, there's nothing that I can't do. Cause I want some action, yeah, real satisfaction. Something out of the ordinary. So look out, world, cause here we come now. The scouts and me. Looks like a cool charm. Excuse me. The gift shop is down the hall. Uh, yeah, well, I'm Oliver Cleaver, and I live in Mayfield, and... One moment, please. This is very delicate work. See, sir, when I was a little kid, my uncle gave me this plastic dinosaur for my birthday, and I really liked it. So from then on, everybody started giving me dinosaurs, and I guess, well, I guess I learned a lot about it. That's wonderful. For $15, you can become a friend of a museum. Yeah, well, that's great. Anyways, today I was being tutored in math while I was digging in the swimming pool. I found this. Band. You think it could be a real dinosaur bone? Hello? Kelly, it's Grandma. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Can you talk a little louder? Oliver hasn't come home from his tutoring. You haven't heard from him, have you? Oops, I got another call. Can you hold on a minute? Oh, any luck? No. I went to Miller's Pond and the soda shop. I even stopped by the firehouse, but Gus doesn't remember seeing him. And again, Gus doesn't remember me either. Who are you talking to? Mm, no one. Dad, Grandma! Oliver, you have had us worried sick. Have you any idea what time it is? Well, sure, it's only... Huh. Gee, it's late. Because I was having such fun, I lost track of time. Where have you been? Dad, you're not going to believe this. Try me. It was the coolest thing that ever happened to me. See, Freddie was tutoring me in this pool, and I found this huge bone. So I took it down to the Bellport Museum, and I showed it to this guy, and it was just like I thought. A real dinosaur bone from a real-life dinosaur. 
Dad, it was the best, just the best. I mean, they had all this neat dinosaur stuff. They let me touch everything. I even had a cup of coffee. I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> this is good. This is really great. Of all the stories that you've ever come up with, this is the very best. Dad, it's true. Okay, so where's the bone? Dad, they have to carbon date it. You're supposed to be doing your homework, not making up ridiculous stories about finding dinosaur bones and drinking coffee. Now go to your room. But it's true. Big bone. Someone wants to say good night. Oh, hey, good night, Slugger. Is Kelly gonna be all right? Well, why? What's the matter with him? Mom says that she got the phone glued to her ear. <laughs> Don't worry, honey. It's not permanent. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> well, did Oliver show up? Yeah. <laughs> well, you can stop jumping up and down. Well, he came home with this outrageous story about going to Bellport with some dinosaur bone he found. Well, that's almost as good as the time he claimed the aliens beamed him up and stole his lunch money. Wally, <laughs> this is serious. He was supposed to be being tutored. Instead, he comes up with a wild tale like that. I'm considering boarding school. Aren't you a little old for boarding school? <laughs> I'm not kidding around. Well, instead of coming down on him so hard, maybe you should try a different approach. Maybe you need something to shoot for, a goal. Whatever you do, don't promise him a phone. <laughs> Mr. Cleaver? Yes? yes. <laughs> I'm Dr. Warren from the Natural History Museum. I'm looking for the Mr. Cleaver whose son found the femur of Asterocosaurus. want to see me. Well, it's nice to meet you. Your, your son is a very bright young man. You mean he actually found a dinosaur bone and drank a cup of coffee? I'm sorry, that's all I had. But it was decaf. <laughs> your son really knows his dinosaurs. You must be very proud of him. Gee, Dad, you caught me right in the middle of studying. Oh, well, then I guess you don't want to hear what the museum director had to say about your Stara. Stara. Sterichosaurus. Stera. I knew it. I knew it. Sterichosaurus is one of my all time favorites. Here it is. Awesome, huh? It's a Ceratopsian. That means it had horns. And even though it did weigh three tons, he could run 20 miles an hour. And. Well, I guess that's all nice, but. Better get back to the challenging world of fractions. Oh, that's okay. That can wait. You know, I kind of owe you an apology. I shouldn't have judged you solely on your report card. But I'm your father, and I have to be concerned about your future. Yeah, I guess I should be, too. I mean, I don't even know what I'm doing next weekend. Well, I'll help you all I can. But I just wish you could apply the same enthusiasm to your school books that you do to your dinosaurs. Especially if you're gonna miss school tomorrow to go watch him dig those bones. All right! You gotta call Kelly. Eddie gets to miss school tomorrow. Can you believe it? My cousin, who can't even find a matching pair of socks, found a dinosaur bone. He's gonna be famous. And I always had him pegged as a loser. <laughs> oh, my dad's gonna start dancing on my head if I don't get off the phone. Night, doll face. Hello? Yes, I heard all about it. And uh, in the future, if you have anything to say to me, I'd appreciate it if you'd tell me to my face. Good night. Who is that? Kelly. <laughs> After I won the Medal of Honor, I returned to my roots and founded Haskell Construction, dedicated to the proposition that all people deserve better homes, better pools, and a better world. 
Thank you, Mr. Haskell. So what do you think? Permission to cry, sir. Granted. Don't worry, we'll take over it. Now these guys, the Stericosauruses, they weren't carnivores. That means they didn't eat meat. Really? I thought they all ate meat. No, they just sort of wandered around and ate plants. Oh, yeah, like my friend, Katie Underwood. <laughs> there they are. I'll introduce you. Boys, these are my grandsons. And this is Oliver. He's the one that made the discovery. Aren't they handsome boys? Yes. Did you ever dream that this could happen to you? Well, you know, uh, kids my age dream about a lot of things. Winning the World Series, finding a buried treasure. But you never think stuff like that could really happen to you. He's always been very inquisitive. You know, when he was only two years old, he wanted to know what it was like to be a fish. So he climbed into our aquarium. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> Herbivorous quadrupeds, those terrible, terrible lizards. Actually, they got kind of a bad rap. They ate and slept, tried to protect their families. Not much different from you and me. Why'd they disappear? I mean, what do you think happened to them? Eh, lots of theories. Meteor showers, change of climate, loss of food supply. Nobody knows for certain. But an even better question is, how they managed to survive for over 140 million years and we've only been around for less than five? Maybe you'll find the answer to that one, Oliver. Me? <laughs> You're so lucky. You know, when I was your age, we didn't have all the wonderful science magazines and books and toys. We didn't even have the Flintstones. Well, I have them all on tape if you ever wanted to watch them. <laughs> You've got the bug. I think you have the makings of a fine paleontologist. Me? Wow, I never imagined anybody calling me doctor. There are advantages. You do get better tables at restaurants. <laughs> to be a paleontologist, do you have to be good in math? Oh, yes, sure. And a lot of other subjects. Yeah. Yes, you have to go to school for a long time. Study some subjects you may not find very interesting, but that's a small price to pay if you want to help unlock some of the world's most fascinating mysteries. But everyone does have to call you doctor, right? Oh, absolutely. Come on, let's talk about it over a cup of coffee. Hundreds of square kilometres behind me are infested. The weed that threatens Australia's kakadu. And the super glue for broken bones on Beyond 2000 tonight. What do you call a loaf baked soft with rich grains and all the goodness of the country in it? Buttercup call it multigrain plus with barley for that delicious full grain taste. With a little bit of malt for a gentle nutty flavour and a touch less salt. Mm. Buttercup multigrain plus with barley. The most delicious and nutritious multigrain you'll ever enjoy. Buttercup mm. multigrain plus. Delicious mm. and nutritious. joins the 90s. I do not need an instruction manual to tell me how to add detergent. But are the 90s ready for him? You look as if you could use a lift. Finn's in big trouble. I'm the cruel, heartless one now, am I? And Michael won't back down. Only an hour and a half to go. Subaru Liberty presents Home and Away tonight. Hi. 
This is Kelly. I can't come to the phone right now because my parents are the kind of people who bribe a kid with a new phone and then don't let her use it except between the hours of 4 and 7 weekdays and 12 and 6 on the weekends. Leave your message at the beep and I'll get back to you as soon as I'm allowed. Kelly, it's your dad. Just checking. <laughs> Stay on 7 now for that outrageous aggro on the Cartoon Connection. And don't forget this afternoon's lineup of fun. At 3.30, that wise-cracking Mel Mackey and Alf, then the cartoon capers of a pup named Scooby-Doo. At 4.30, Blockbusters, followed by the Logie-winning game show hour, Family Feud and Wheel of Fortune. Only the best today on 7.